Okay, I'm going to attempt to, what I want is the Baron that's inside. Shoot, I know there's a couple Barons in it. I'm going to see if I can get in there and get it apart. Okay, I'm just to show you. I just tried it. I ripped the side off here. Did it hold the motherboard it was on here? So I got that pulled off because there's two more uh, rivets holding that disk drive in. So I just got me a good sharp chisel. They are just aluminum rivets, so they're not super strong. A cup of wax. Bam. It's off. Looking around. Let's get the other side. Two right here. That one's off. I'm digging into the metal too. The rivet's almost off. I actually really don't, I don't think, they are screws, but they're a special, I mean, I got all kinds of tools, but that is definitely a different type. Now, I'll have to spread this metal a little bit because some of the bolt is left behind. But, heck, I'm not saving this thing, so we can do that easy enough. There we go. Alright. So that's what we wanted out. Right in here, see if I have that. Right in here is a baron. So let's set this aside for a second and see if we can we'll get around that. I promise. Yeah, no, they're not holding anything. I think there's adhesive. There's like a rubber back adhesive. And it could be some more screws that I'm not seeing. No, I don't see any. I don't see any other screws holding anything. So I'm going to just kind of turn the camera off here a minute and give it a couple good wax and stuff and show you what I had to do to finally get it apart. Okay, so this is the whole trouble with getting this apart. It's my own fault. I, I just remembered um, from watching other videos that under these little seals right here, there's two more screws, um, and these seals, uh, you know, if the seals are broken, it won't voids the warranty. So, uh, of course, um, that way they know you actually got into it. You can get all the others off, and they wouldn't know if you put it back together. So, if you're trying to do this underneath these two seals, or if there's other seals on yours, there are some more screws. So now that I remembered that, I should have known because I saw it on somebody else's video. <clears throat> then this would have been a lot easier. All right, nuts off. Oh, look at that. Geez, you actually take all the stuff out and comes right off. So there is your your um, memories disc right there. And those are nice and shiny. But this baron in here is what I'm after. Right now, just taking all the bolts out. I don't know what's gonna tie it around, I guess. I don't know what's gonna loosen up, whatever. I, oh, I do remember now why this ain't coming off easy. There's some really high quality magnets under here. In fact, I can feel them pulling on the screwdriver. That's right, and they actually said you should be very careful not to get your fingers just that's what's holding this on the magnet that wow did you hear that that's the magnets pulling this thing back i don't know where they are and i don't want my finger pinched okay so what happened was is there was a lot of little screws i don't know where the piece went now but anyway there was another ring on top of holding this disc down underneath those fingers like you originally saw it I got all those screws out, these little ones here, except for one. I couldn't get it, couldn't get it, so I finally just took the chisel, set it up against the screw, tapped a couple times, the ring popped off, the screw came out, and now I'm able to get these discs out. And that's where his data is stored, of course. This one here is, they're all damaged now, but they are super high, glossy. 
which is kind of neat. I don't really have a use for it, but set it aside. And now we'll, we'll a little plastic ring or a little aluminum ring between them. That was the spacer. All right, this is that one. This one acts as in still in. Oh no, I guess I gouged the heck out of it there, but still. Anyway, that's those. Uh, again, this is what I'm working on getting down to, this nice barren right here. <clears throat> Incidentally, um, I got the bottom magnet out from underneath here. And when I went to put them next to each other just to see, I had my fingers out of the way, they snapped together, and I haven't really got them apart yet. I, mean, I don't know if it's in the camera here or not. I'll try. Oh, there we go. But I'll set one down here and see if I can... without get my finger in there. Those are really, I'm sure you can find a, a use for those. And this little piece was in there too, and I believe it is magnetic as well. Well, let's see it. So there's all kinds of neat things inside here, but again, I am still going out to, there's actually another little barren right in here, pressed into the back of here. I don't want to bang on it and damage it. I don't want to pry underneath of it and damage it. I might set it over something. Oh. Piece of wood here. Let's see if that's high enough to keep that up off the. And if I hit right here, well, if I damage it, I got another one. All right, let's try. Just trying to punch that out. What can I use that I won't damage? Oh, she's moving. Oh, there's the Baron right there. I do feel a slight little bump in it now, so I might have damaged it a little bit. But anyway, it's not quite what I was hoping it would be for what I want to use it for. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use it or not. But if you need to get a Baron out of a disk drive, that's one way of doing it.